Yo, dudes, yo, people, man, yo, what is up, yo, it's too much, like, I feel really bad for Siren, because no matter what plan of action they come up with, it's like Akashi is a psychic, he knows what's going down, he's a psychic Pokemon, like, this guy, he just knows what you're planning, and he has you on lock, and he already knew that, uh, that, um, Hyuga, and Kagami were going to be the go-to guys for Saiyan right now. And he's saying one would be enough. But if you but if you can if you can do two, he's out of the picture. And he means fouls. And I'm like, bro, this guy, Rio, was able to pull off a combination of heaven and earth. Where in which he faked the heaven. And he actually went for the Earth. So, it's like he went for the fadeaway, but the actual purpose of it, the fadeaway was the Earth in order to get the foul for the four-point play. So, it's looking real bad for Hyuga. And we don't know what Kaimi's doing right now, but Kaimi's guarding Akashi. And Akashi, he... Yo, man, for a guy that's like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, he's a freaking demon, dude. He's a, <laughs> he's a straight up monster. Yo, dude, holy cow. I just feel really bad for Sam. I feel really bad for him. Because I just, I can't see it. If it happens, it's either one of two things. Either A, Kuroko, he pulls something super magical out of his ass. Like, straight out of Harry Potter. Mr. Potter. Wingavia Leviosa. Yeah, and he just pulls it out. Or, or, Kagami, he finally enters the realm of miracles. I, I love it. The realm of miracles. Yo, if that happens, my title, Realm of Miracles. When Kaimi finally enters the realm of miracles, he becomes like more, like a like an actual genuine generation of miracle status individual, where he can compete with someone like Akashi Seijiro on his own without any assistance. And you know, because I'm pretty sure someone like Almine could, but I I, I I think Almine would actually lose to Akashi. I really do. At this point in time, I think everyone loses to Akashi because Akashi is a monster. He he's too intelligent. And he has, like, this... His insight is so great where it gives him, like, a certain degree of precognition. It's like, bro, that's retarded. <laughs> it's retarded in a really damn good way. Which makes no sense, but roll with me here, because I'm tired, okay? His... I'm gonna say it one more time. His intelligence is so great where it gives him a certain degree of precognition. Like, it, it's not fair. It's not. I mean, we have Rico, and she's trying to chip her boy. She goes... She doesn't know what to say. It's like they're down by like what was the score? Um, it was like I think it was sixty-two or sixty-three, like thirty-seven, like something. Re it's a real like twenty plus twenty-five something. I, I I forget. But either way, the thing here is that she's trying to cheer him up, and they can't really find a solution. There is no solution to Akashi Seijiro. He is the unsolved problem. He is the Big Bang. It's like, dude, there, there is no formula for Akashi Seijiro. There is no mathematics. He's, he's that good. He's that good. There is no formula. He's just Akashi. All right? He's rocking the Jesus pieces. All right? He's omnipotent right now. You just can't stop him. You can't shut him down. Just when you think you have him shut down, no. And it goes, dunk. It's like, dude, what? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. All right. Here's you all. Now, the thing here. Let's move on. There's this whole debate going on between, um, well, not debate, but it's it's more like a discussion between Murasaki Bara and Kenichi. Where in which Kenichi, he sees it as, as long as Seiren have the will to continue to play, there will be no absolute loss. There is no guarantee that Seiren's going to actually lose. Now, 
in Murasa Gibara's case, since he knows more, he, he since he knows a lot more about Akashi, he's come up, he's come up with the conclusion, as well as Almine, that there is no chance in hell. There's not even a one percent chance that Sam's gonna win, and the reason why is very simple: because Akashi's there. <laughs> That's their reasoning. The reason why they won't even have one chance of winning is because Akashi Seijiro is there. He's just there. <sighs> I really do believe that Seirin is going to somehow win, and I believe this in my heart of hearts, somewhere in Kingdom Hearts, where in which... Yo, yo, yeah. All right, I mean, I'm gonna play it as soon as I get a new TV. <laughs> I may have a TV, but still. Uh, yeah, I know computer monitor, whatever. Fuck it. But uh, either way, uh, 1.5 remix, awesome. And then there's like the, the, there's gonna be a 2.5. I don't know when exactly, but either way, because I haven't played Chain of Memories, because those are all DS and those bullshit. But whatever. Let's move on. <sighs> the thing of here, the thing here. Is that I believe that they're gonna win. So in my heart of hearts. But and the reason why I do is because this is Kyoshi's last year. Like he can't play after this. After this, he's done. It's it's, it's over. His basketball career is over. He didn't take the surgery because he wanted to spend time playing with his teammates, but Akashi is taking their dreams and he's shattering them. He's just annihilating them. And like I said before, to me it seemed as if like when it came to Kyoshi and Nibuya, it looked like there was actually like some competition there because they're both uncrowned kings. It's not like Nibuya is that vastly superior. He just has the muscle. But it's Hyuga. Like Hyuga has like this ridiculous mismatch. And everyone that has Everyone that goes against Akashi has a mismatch. So, I mean, like, and Kuroko is like the main main thing because without him, Saren's just getting landslide. They're just getting, yeah, yeah. They're just getting just murked, and it's painful to watch. So, or in this case, read. But overall, the chapter rating it's a simple chapter, and it just. Again, it's further reinforcement. Just when you think we weren't fortified enough. We had a castle. We had spears on the castle walls. There's oil on top. We built a moat around the castle. Just when you think this shit wasn't fortified enough, they put in crocodiles in the damn moat. And this chapter is further reinforcement of this belief that... No matter what Siren does, Akashi Seijiro and Rakuza are gonna shut them down. They're gonna slowly strangle them till the quote unquote life is ripped out of them. I forgot the exact words that he said, but like, I'm not gonna let go till you're completely dead. Some along those lines. I'll put it as an actual type. So the thing here is that, like, merciless. There, there's no mercy. And the coach of Rakuza, he's just chilling. He even said, a side comment, the, the only thing that I found disappointing about this team is the fact that there's no reason for me to be there. There's no reason for the coach to be there, because Akashi Seijiro, he's just conducting right now, all right? He is the perfect conductor. This guy's Jesus pieces. Five feet of Jesus pieces. All right, fine, whatever, fuck it. So I'm done. The chapter ring, okay plus to good. Let's put a good chapter, why not? A good chapter, and I will see you guys later. Be sure to, of course, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.